What is up beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So there must be something different going on right now. What do you think it is? I got a ring light for Christmas. Thank you to my mother and my grandmother for buying this for me for Christmas. I am truly obsessed with it because right now the lighting looks so good and so bomb and it's still daylight outside but at the same time you really can't tell because I have so much lighting going on. I'm obsessed with it so I'm really happy about having a more professional lighting for my videos from here on out. I hope that you guys enjoy that. So anyways today's video is going to be on the look that I did today full face except for the foundation obviously because I don't know why but I haven't done foundation on video in a while. I don't know but it's full face and using just some favorites and some new products but this is like a get ready with me so this is an after christmas get ready with me very very glam look today before i go to work i'm using some new goodies like the ColourPop loose luster dust of course the dose of colors sassy sienna and blushing berries eyeshadow palettes i'm going to be using a few shades from this and of course a few other new goodies as well and some oldie favorites so anyways i hope that you guys enjoy this video but if you want to see the tutorial that i did today using these products then keep on watching As you can see, my base is completely on, and I am so not used to this light being so bright, but at the same time, do not stare directly at it. But now that I have this lighting, it's going to be amazing for me to do my videos with. So hopefully it looks good, and hopefully the lighting doesn't go too crazy. I'm hoping that it will work out for me in the long run. So, we're going to contour, highlight, and blush today. I'm going to use my favorite Hoola bronzer from Benefit. I'm actually going to use a new brush that I just got. This is the Morphe M527. So I'm going to use that just to kind of chisel out my cheekbones and see how that looks. Now for blush, I'm going to go in with one of my favorite blushes as well. This is the Becca Mineral Blush in the shade Flower Child. Highlight, I'm going to use something that I have not tried before, and this is the Urban Decay Afterglow in ONS. So there it is right there. Um, I'm going to go in with the shade right here, which is called No Angel. To me, looking up close at this, it looks like it does show a lot of my skin's texture, which I do not like when highlighters do that. So I am going to put on top, I'm going to put the ColourPop Luster Dust in Nomi. This is like one of my new absolute favorites just because it is such a like, blinding, glittery highlighter, and I will put it on right now. Now that we are extremely over highlighted right now, especially that side, I am going to go in with the eyes. For eyes today, we're going to go in with the brand new Dose of Colors eyeshadow palettes. This is Sassy Sienna and Blushing Berries. I hope that you can see that. That ring light really makes these things pop like bam. So I'm going to go in with Sassy Sienna's first. I'm going to take this shade right here, which is going to be called Stay Sassy. Mm hmm. A little bit more color to this, I'm going to go in with the Blushing Berries palette. I'm going to go in with this middle shade right here, which is going to be called Berry Pop. Just to give a little warmth to it, I'm going to go back in with the Sassy Siennas. I'm going to go in th with this shade right here, which is called Brassy. look even more dramatic I'm gonna go in with back with the blushing berries I'm gonna go in with this really dark black shade which is called berry chic I'm hoping this is not like too pigmented where there's like a little fallout I don't think there will be but we will try it out
for the center of my eye because I didn't want it to be matte just because I want this halo eye to just be in full effect. I'm going to go in with one of Stila's new shimmer and glows in the shade Cloud. That is on and really popping right now. I'm going to go in with my lower lash line like I always do before I do some highlighting, obviously. I'm going to go back in with the Blushing Berries palette. I'm going to go in with this shade right here, a little bit of this shade. And to end it all off, I'm going to go back in with Stay Sassy. So now for brow bone and inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Nomi. So the eyes are pretty much done, I'm going to throw on some mascara and some lashes and I'll be right back to put on a lip with you guys. The lashes are on, the eyes are complete, and I'm really loving this halo eye that I did today. I'm loving the palette, the palettes are really nice, and then of course this glitter just makes everything better. And these lashes are the pure diva style, and I actually really love them too. So, for lip today, we're going to go in with the Jeffree Star Holiday Collection in Christmas Cookie. <laughs> I just threw on a little bit of a gloss. I used the Buxom Lip Cream in Mudslide just because I did not realize how dry and cracked my lips were until I put on this matte. So now it looks so much better. The look is complete. I actually love the way that this came out today. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little get ready with me kind of video because I haven't done one of those in a while except for like reviewing videos and really that's not as fun as doing a get ready with me. But really quickly I'm going to show you guys some of the things that were kind of like a first impression because these are the things that I have not used yet and I'm going to tell you what I think of them. Off we have the Urban Decay Afterglow in ONS. Um, this highlighting palette is actually really nice. It's really pretty but the only problem is that this shade and probably all the other shades showed up my skin's texture and I'm not a huge fan of when highlighters do that so I will play with this in the near future as well as I always do. From a first impression standpoint I wasn't really a huge fan of the way it showed up my texture. Next up the ColourPop Luster Dust in Nomi, was, I'm pretty sure it's Nomi, um, is so stunning. It is so glittery and so reflective and so sparkly and so shiny. Literally it makes your highlight just bam, bam for the gods and I'm actually loving this with the ring light right now because that is just Amazing, so I really love that highlighter. It's only like six dollars and it's so fucking worth it. I have the Stila Shimmer and Glow Cloud. This is the shade Cloud. I'm gonna probably have to buy more of these because it was so stunning. They're shimmery, but they're they're more like metallic, they're not glittery like the other ones are not like a chunky glitter, so they definitely have a lot less fallout and they're actually really stunning on the eye. They just really pick up light and they're really reflective. And this is only $24 and these ones are Brand new, I mean, they just launched at Ulta. I'm pretty sure they're probably going to launch at Sephora as well very soon too, but I'm obsessed with that one. I have the two palettes, the Sassy Sienna's and the Blushing Berries from A Dose of Colors. This is my first time trying any Dose of Color eyeshadows, and I'm actually living for these. The Sassy Sienna's is really something that is like right up my alley. You also get a little brush, but it's really right up my alley because literally it has all of these amazing like warm tone peachy and bronzy shades. I love warm tone peachy shades all year round. I don't even care. I absolutely love them. The shades that I used, which was Sass Stay Sassy and Brassy, both blended so, so nicely on my eye. Next up, we used the Blushing Berries, which this one, it also comes with a brush as well, but I take them out because they kind of get all over the place. Um, I used the shades Berry Pop and Berry Chic for this one, and I love that these are like berry shades and then one black. One like pinky shade and then the berry shades right in the middle. This one definitely really, really pops on deeper skin tones. I really love that. And it also pops on lighter skin tones like me. But um, this one was really nice too. These, I believe, are $32 or $34 a piece. They are now available at Ulta stores. Select ones, of course. But they're available online in Ulta stores. So you can swatch them and play with them before you buy them. I think these are super amazing. And they're so 
small and compact that you can travel with them. I definitely think that Dose of Colors, if you are listening to this, you since you already made so many amazing matte ones, please make one that has like five metallics in it, please. Just so that I have something to put in the middle of my eye or on my eyelid or in my brow bone highlight or anything like that, please just make one of these with a little bit of shimmer in it because I think that this would be amazing to have your mattes and your shimmer ones. So anyways, that is the end of this Get Ready With Me video using my new ring light, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the very near future. Love you. Bye.